Over there we have a wild Cameron. They're very hard workers. Top of the food pole. What is it? The food totem pole. Top of the food cycle. I don't know. Sugar Mercy, come help me! <laughs> Welcome to another Thunder Thigh Thursday. I just want to start off with a quick little story time, okay? Fun fact, I'm allergic to a lot of things. And one of the worst things I'm allergic to is medicine. I'm, I'm allergic to like all kinds of medicines. One time I had a horrible allergic reaction that my lips swelled up like... What am I hearing? What is... Is there some kind of huge... Excuse me. <laughs> Ended up having like a terrible reaction. I had to be rushed to the hospital. My throat was starting to close up. It was really terrifying. My my lips, my hands were swollen. Like I looked like Angelina Jolie. And then since then, I've gotten an EpiPen. Anyways, the day you're watching this Thursday, I have a video shoot uh, for another channel. We're filming two videos. And you know, when you're filming for someone else's channel especially, like you wanna look your best. And today, I woke up with a giant like cystic zit under the skin, which I don't know if you can see it now. You see it in the light, it like reflects off of it. Very cool. It looks like as if someone hit me in the chin with a baseball bat. At least that's what it looked like when I woke up. So I called the dermatologist ASAP and I was like, please let me in. I, I just need to get a cortisone injection to uh, take the zit down, like take the swelling down. And it's like one of the very few things that's ever worked for me to get rid of. Uh, cystic zits. So anyways, today I went and he injected it and then I asked him if there was anything else I could do um, to like help make it go away more by tomorrow. He was like suggesting some antibiotics that I could take all the time uh, so that this doesn't like keep happening. I told him no and I told him that I am allergic to a lot of medicines and then I was listing off uh, the medicines I was allergic to and then I was like showing him I have a list in my phone of all the medicines I'm allergic to and the first one I always list is erythromycin because that's like the, my worst allergic reaction I've ever had. I told him, I was like, no, I don't wanna do that. He was like, okay, well, I do have like a topical like gel you can put on it like twice today, which will probably help you help it go down by tomorrow. And I was like, okay, great. And so then I get home, I put the gel on my face. I'm like, okay, this is good. It's gonna look better by tomorrow. After I put the gel on, I just, I decided to look at the pack and I'm like, you know, I should probably see what I just put on my face. The first ingredient is erythromycin. The medicine that I'm highly allergic to had to be sent to the ER because I'm so allergic to it. it was given an EpiPen because I'm so allergic to it. I had just put it on my face and he had just given it to me after I told him multiple times that I'm allergic to that. And so, yes, it is my fault for not reading the ingredients on the package before putting it on my face. However, this is my dermatologist that I have told multiple times, including multiple times just today, how I am allergic to erythromycin, and then he gave me that. And so I was freaking out, and I washed it off, and then I called CVS, and they told me to take Benadryl, and they're saying that, like, hopefully I won't have a reaction now because it was topical and I washed it off so fast, and when I had the reaction before, it was an oral antibiotic, blah, blah, blah. I could have an allergic reaction for up to three weeks because I called the dermatologist back, and that's what he said. So he was super helpful and also not apologetic. Dude, you literally gave me medicine that can make my throat close up and end my life. And he was just like, uh, well, most people aren't allergic to like the topical form of it. I'm like, okay, I'm not most people. I am one single person that has had a terrible reaction to this medicine before. So I was really mad. And anyways, point is, I was gonna film something else today, um, but I did it because I was mostly focused on trying not to die from an allergic reaction today. Having your throat start to close up and your hands literally be like baseball mitts. My, my fingers were so fat I couldn't dial on my phone. I was home alone and I couldn't even dial on my phone. Like it took me forever just to call my mom to tell her I was having an allergic reaction. Then she came home and rushed me to the hospital. I guess I should have called 911, but I didn't know because it was my first time ever having that happen. And it was terrifying. I don't know. I wanted my mom and I was scared. Anyways, the rest of the video that you're going to be watching today is a DIY uh, for an Ikea dresser. And if you guys aren't into do-it-yourself projects, I'm sorry, but you still might want to watch this video because it might inspire you to like DIY projects and you'll see how you can turn a relatively cheap dresser into something nice and uh, fancy looking. So please enjoy this dumb blonde DIY and please 
watch the video all the way through and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I love you. Okay, here we go. Hello, friends. So, I should have started filming this earlier, but I'm terrible at this, uh, you know, YouTuber thing. But, Cam and I are doing a DIY project. So, I wanted to show you guys what we're working on. It's like, how to be thrifty. How to make your stuff look nice without spending a lot of money. Kind of thing. I look rough. Also, the zit on my face really looks like a nipple. Oh. On my last video, someone commented that they love how I show all of my many blemishes. <laughs> <laughs> like, thanks for noticing. <laughs> what are you eating? <laughs> okay. This is camel toe. <laughs> it's hard to tell right now. But this was an Ikea dresser. Mom. Like, mom? M-A-L-M -M for all you Ikeas out there. I'll put in a picture so that you can see what it looked like originally since it's a little deconstructed currently. I don't know if you can tell, this is all black. And we are gonna make it white and add gold accents, which we've already been spraying. Cam put in all those nails and then we sprayed them. And then we sprayed all these uh, brackets that were silver. And look! I spray painted one side already. And Cheeky, show them what spray paint we're using. Rust-Oleum Appliance Epoxy. Huh. In, in white. And spray painted this. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a shake weight. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is spray all the drawers. Here we go. Show you guys what it looks like from black to white. Oh! Oh, what was that? Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Now we're gonna spray all the drawers. Well, that's fumes going, huh? Jeez. It's <laughs> a nice stance you got there. Here, Kim. Huh? Put this on. Nice. Safety first. Should have done this when we were spray painting before, you guys. You gotta wear masks, okay? Or else you breathe in the spray paint. And then those fumes are no buenos. You'll die. As you can see, we are back in the garage, about to spray another layer on the dresser. We started this project uh, quite some time ago, but where are you gonna finish it? <laughs> well, as you guys know by now, I'm terrible at this vlogging thing, but um, I forgot to vlog when Cam drilled holes in all of these, so we could put the drawer handle thingies on and look at it you put one in and it looks so good now i put in the next one good job cam screw it in screw it screw it oh why is it stripping no don't strip that's a good lesson here let's talk about stripping you guys don't do it where's the screwdriver but cardi b did it and it worked out for her okay so while Cam is doing some screwing, I have the very important job of opening up these packages. Takes a lot of technique, takes a lot of skill. You guys will get there. Just keep doing your thing, keep doing DIY, and someday you will get to my level. And now over to Cameron Kennedy for... Wait, hold on. Hold on. And now over to Cameron Kennedy for the DIY tip of the day. And uh, do it yourself tip, um, when screwing in these screws, uh, you can do it with the drill, your handy dandy drill thing, um, but just finish it off with a screwdriver so you don't crack the wood, because if you're using too much torque on the screw um, gun, you're just gonna crack the wood and we don't wanna do that. Crack is bad. You see, you just tighten it right there, that's it. Hand, hand tighten, don't machine tighten. Okay, thanks for that tip of the day. I also get the cool job of taking all of these screws out of this cardboard. Here we go. Now that my fingers are bleeding, we're ready for the next step. Yeah, I'll just like act like I'm finishing this one. I can't really can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're doing this cool little uh, dog, no. 
this cool little fancy detail on the corners here. Just Look how cool that is. Wow, so Whoa. nice. Okay, now to make our dresser even fancier, we are going to add these little brackets that we spray painted gold. <laughs> We completed one drawer. We completed it, and now Cam's just putting the drawers in. Now for the final look. Look how good it looks! Look at the friggin' details! For real! Look! You guys, it took a lot. We got a little, a lot some, of screws to screw in. A few nicks and dings. Ah, but that gives a character. Ah. 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 Look at that. Look at it. Look how, look how centered it is. I mean, it looks centered from here. Looks great from over here. Look at that. <laughs> and it matches perfectly in the rest of the room. That's beautiful. Just like you chicks. Do. Ow! I love you. So, as you guys know, Cam and I redid this Ikea dresser and he- I keep hearing about this damn dresser. I know, and I want to show you, because I feel like you'll appreciate it, maybe, hopefully. Did you... he do most of the work or did you? Because uh, I kind of feel like you did. No, I think it was pretty equal, actually. Yeah? Yeah, I did. Alright, where is it? Okay, but do you- Oh, sorry, I'm too excited. I know, you're really excited. Do you remember the black Ikea dresser that was in his room? Just mm -hmm. like plain black? Yeah. Okay. The mom one. I'm get so it. good. He gets it, he just gets it. Okay, um, we DIY'd it, and I just want to show it to you, okay? So you want to brag to me? Yeah. No, I just think you'd be proud of the work that we've done. I will be, let's see it. Thank you, okay, here we go. Right Wait, here! What? that's it? Yeah! Isn't that good? Oh, are you impressed? That's really good. Do you like it? It looks way better. Uh -huh. You proud? Yeah! Thanks! You did good! <laughs> Thanks, right? Would you buy it? What would you pay for something like this? 20 bucks. Oh my god. No, I'm kidding. That's no, exactly what we'd sell it for. <laughs> and look, that dresser over there, I paid like $500 for. And this one probably looks Wait, better. Wait, really? Yeah, no joke. This one looks nicer. <laughs> this one right here. Oh. You see it? This one needs to go this way. But that's just, you know. So, I just have well, a knack, I have an like, eye for Thanks for coming over. <laughs> so you're not gonna, it was you just trying to sell it to me? So you're not gonna buy it? So you don't wanna, so you, would, you wouldn't even pay 20? That's <laughs> no. what you're saying. Uh. <laughs> thank you guys for watching, I love you so much. Um, sorry this video is kinda just different and like a crafty thing. I like doing crafty things, so if you're okay with this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. And if you wanna be my Megan Minion next week, follow me on Instagram. My Megan Minion today is Jackie. Jackie, you're awesome. I love you. I love all you guys, and I'll see you next Thursday. Ow. That's my ear hurt now, too. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, love you. Bye! <laughs>